this video is going to carry on with the paper 91267 from 2017. It's the level two probability external. And we're up to question three, part B. Okay, so we have this normal distribution curve which could be used to model this distribution here. So this was the sample of 50 salmon and these are their weights shown in this histogram. So our first question here is what proportion of salmon in the sample had weights that exceeded 4,000 grams? So we need to count up how many there are. So there are 1, 4, 10, 7, 14, 10 and 4 in each of those categories. We want more than 4,000. So here's our 4,000 cutoff. So 7 plus 14 plus 10 plus 4 gives us 35. So the proportion we're looking for is 35 out of 50. Or you could write that as a decimal of 0 0.7. If we take a quick look at the marking schedule, you can see just here that working out that uh, simple probability, it gives us a U mark for achieved. Okay, now the next page asks us to compare the probability distribution and the histogram. So our answer should consider the shape, center, and spread of both distributions and should provide numerical evidence. So we need to do some calculation on it as well. So if we start off with the shape. So we can have a look at the shape of this curve compared to the shape of the distribution. So the normal curve is symmetrical But the histogram is not. It has a left skew. So you can have a look at that one there. We can see it's kind of going like this. It's bunching up to the right with a left hand tail. So it has a left skew there. Other things we might want to say about the shape are that the mean equals the median equals the mode on the normal curve. But these won't all be the same. On the histogram. Because it's not symmetrical. And you could actually calculate that as one of your calculations that you want to do. I'm not going to because I think there are some easier calculations that don't take quite so long. Um, so next I'm going to move on to looking at centre. So centre, I'm going to look at the median. So the median on the normal curve equals 4050. On the histogram, we have, now if we look at that 4050, we've got 10 plus 7 plus 4 plus 1 below the 4050. So that's 22 fish weighing less than 4050. Um, is this grams? Yeah, grams. Um, and 28 more than 4,050 grams. So the median would be bigger than 4,050 because it's not sitting there exactly in the middle. Um, with 25 fish below and 25 fish above it. Okay. So then we can look at the spread that it suggests to have a look at. So if we think about spread, the range on the normal curve is, if we go to the top here, we've got. Uh, 4,300, take away 3,800, so our range is 500 grams, but on the histogram, it's 
only. Now I can see that it's going to be less. So 4200, take away 3850, it's 350. Okay, I could also calculate the mean, but it takes a little while to do that. I think I've got enough here to be able to make some comparisons. And we want to go for at least four points. I've made three so far. The next thing that you've got to make sure that you calculate, provide some numerical evidence of, of a calculation here. So we're going to compare some probabilities that we can work out from the normal curve and the um, histogram. Now I've already worked out a probability here in part one, so I'm going to use that. So on the histogram, the probability that the weight uh, was greater than 4,000 was equal to 0.7. I'm going to calculate that same thing on the normal curve. Now to be able to do that, we've first of all got to say what the mean is, which is this 4,050. But we also need to estimate what the standard deviation would be. Now standard deviation, you can estimate off of this curve by taking this distance here from the, the um, median or the mean out to the upper edge, that should be worth three standard deviations. So our normal curve has this property that almost all of the results occur within three standard deviations of the mean. Okay, so if I go for that 4,300 and I take away the 4,050, that gives me a gap of 250. Now divide that by three and sigma would have to be around about 83.3. So then if we put the probability of it being more than 4,000, we can use our graphics calculator to do that. I'm working out a probability, so just using the NCD one, make sure that that says variable, our lower limit we're doing it with this little curve here, going more than 4,000, right? So our lower limit is 4,000, our upper limit is something very big, sigma 83.3, and the mean is 4,050. So our probability here is 0.72, um, let's round it up to six, 0.726, okay? So we can compare that these two probabilities here and here are a little bit different. So they have a difference of 0 0.026. And there we go, we've got four points that I've made there. Um, we could actually even count this part here as, as another point. Um, let's just have a look at our mark scheme. So we have a comparison of the distributions is given uh, with numerical justification and they've shown numerical justification in square brackets here so we can compare what we're doing. So symmetrical versus not symmetrical. We want two valid comparative comments um, made for achieved. So we have one by having said it's not symmetrical. Then we have the averages are not all the same. So we've said here, average is not all the same. That's the second point. Though I didn't justify it with numbers there. We could have added in that it would be 4,050 for the normal curve for all the averages, but on the histogram, it would be lots of different numbers. Now for merit, we need three comparative statements with some numerical justifications for at least two of them. Okay, so We've got the median on the normal curve here is 4,050, whereas on the histogram, um, we said that that wouldn't match up. It would be more than 4,050, and we've backed that up with numbers. So there's um, one of the things we've talked about with numbers. The range on the normal curve is 500 grams, but on the histogram, only 350. Again, we've backed them up with numbers, and the same with our calculation here, we've backed them up with numbers. So we've actually got three things we've talked about with numbers included. 
Now, if we go to our mark scheme, we've made three comparative statements, at least two of them with comments, so there's merit, no problem. Four valid comparative statements with numerical justification for at least three of them. We've done that too. We've done three where we've included numbers and we made some more statements at the top there that weren't with numbers that count as our fourth or more. Um, this was the bit that we didn't do. We don't need it though. There's seven possible points we could have done and we only need four of them. So you can have a look there if you want to see other ideas of what you could have done. But what we've done here is enough to earn us the excellence mark for that portion of the paper.